Hey guys, it's Kurt here with Rock County Adventures. Welcome back for another video. So today I am using the flat lap on some Laramar and Jasper, trying to make a cab and a guitar pick. So I hope you enjoy the video. And I am also making improvement, trying trying to make improvements to the to the channel. So I uh, hope you like the intro. If not, please let me know down in the comments. I'm still uh, working on it, um, but uh, let's get into the video. Okay, guys. So I. Orders. I got some uh, Laramar in the mill, and I'm gonna do a video on making a cabochon of one of these. This one uh, broke in shipping, uh, but would have been a nice piece. And I have uh, a lot more on order of a uh, high grade, so uh, be looking forward to a video for that. But I think I'm going to start with this one right here. So first thing is. I need to see put this on the um, doping station and heat it up so that way I can put a stick to it. And I'm gonna stick to this side so that just so I can sand this side down uh, without grinding my fingers. And then I will uh, um, take it off and do this side to make the face of it. So uh, I'll jump back in. Oh here. Let's see, put it down, whoops, I got to clean the table off, it's a little messy. So I'll set that there, let it heat up, and uh, going to wait for that to melt, and I'll stick that on there. And here is a, a piece of, while I'm waiting, this is a piece of a uh, Rainbow Jasper from Utah. I cut a small piece out of and uh, I'm going to try making a guitar guitar pick. Sorry, I cannot talk tonight. Um, I'm going to try making a guitar pick though. And I got it pretty thin right now. Just need to do a little bit more grinding and stuff and then polish and so forth. So that'll be cool once that's done. But I'm going to come back in once this is melted more and I can uh, stick it to the uh, stone. Okay, the wax is pretty much melted, somewhat decent. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it to the Laramar right here. Should be warm enough. Oh, wait a minute. I put it the wrong side on that. There we go. Okay, so now since I have it on, I'm just letting the uh, wax dry. Once it cools and dries, I will get started. I can already tell that this stuff is way better than the previous stuff that I had, which I think, uh, Manatee Rocks were sending me. Cool. There we go. So I'm going to flatten this side and uh, then take it off and stick it to the side and polish the opposite side. Get a nice consistent flow. Turning it to speed number. I'm still trying to figure out what shape I'm going to make it. Let me see it. Let me go ahead and just do a triangle. Okay, so I have a general uh, triangle uh, for the shape. Now I'm gonna go put this in the freezer for about an hour 
and then this uh, dopping wax should pop right off and then I'll be able to remelt it and stick it to this side. That way I can start polishing the side that I'm stuck, I got it stuck to right now. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun, uh, fun video. Okay guys, so uh, here is this uh, Laramar that I'm working on. It's not uh, symmetrical. Um, but it's fine for what it is for right now. Um, and then here is that guitar pick that I was working on as well. Um, I may try and do some more of these later in the future, but it's, a, like I said, Rainbow Jasper from Utah that I picked up. And uh, it's pretty thin. Just got to grind down the edges. And I'll show this, as I'm working on this one, I'm also going to be working on this one as well. I'll just show you the finished product on this one since I, um, I'm almost there anyways. So I'm going to set that off to the side and put this one on the dopping uh, uh, warmer to put a dop dopping stick on it and see you in a minute. Okay guys, so after about 30 minutes, this is what it looks like right now. I'm starting to get the shape of it and trying to even out the thickness of it. So I'll have a little bit more to do on this side, but just wanted to stop and show y'all. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, right now, um, from sanding it uh, just flat like this, I've created like a, a bevel all the way around. So I'm trying to round that bevel out and get it nice and smooth across there. And one thing I've been noticing sometimes when I'm not paying, fully paying attention, I get the stone really thin around the edges, and then that's what causes it to kind of chip and flake. So like right there in the t very tip, you can see it's kind of like chipped a little bit there and a little bit right there so i'm going to try and sand the edges and get it at least an eighth, an eighth of an inch thick and uh then just keep going from there dang felt that hit hit my finger it chipped off right there as you can see so I'm just gonna be careful and try and reserve that and I guess I will put this on a wrap so that way it's covered up I had a feeling that was gonna happen Okay, I'm on the next pad, so we're gonna start grinding, and hopefully, that this crack that's on here does not continue. Um, if it does, I'm gonna. I found some uh, glue online that I'm gonna order that will be able to help seal this. Um, so when I'm finished, I'm not going to take it off the dopping stick. I'm gonna keep it on here until that glue comes in. So uh, let's get started. Okay, starting with the next pad, and here's the stone now, and that little crevice crack is starting to become more noticeable. 
but uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm on the next disc. This is what it looks like. And um, always make sure you're washing your stone in between discs. That way you don't contaminate it with the previous grit. And also, um, yeah, I don't know, what, I'm not sure what else I was gonna say. Um, so let's get started. starting to get a nice shine to it and you can see some of that really beautiful detail so I go on that one less time oh geez I don't think I'm gonna do the last coat um, only because I want to make sure that um, I can still fix this if it's not too late but it does have a nice uh, it did take a really nice polish to it so uh, I'll show you pictures in the end. So like I said, this is the last stage I'm doing right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to the guitar pick I'm working on. Okay, I'm switching projects. Here is the guitar pick that I'm working on out of that Rainbow Jasper from Utah that I collected. And I think I've made it close to about a 16th of an inch or between a 16th and a 32nd. Um, so. Let's uh, finish this one. Here it is mostly dry. Taking a nice polish. Okay, everyone, so I hope you've, you've enjoyed this video so far. Um, I'm, I can't go any further on the Laramar. That crack has gotten a lot bigger, so I'm just going to have to wait. And I'll be doing another video with this one, fixing that crack uh, in the uh, future, um, near future, probably next month or so. Um, so look forward to that. And uh, But it did turn out really beautiful compared to what it started out to like. Um, so there's that and then uh, the guitar pick that I was making it is a lot smaller than a, the standard guitar pick But the the size that it is is actually pretty perfect for the for my uh, girlfriend um, that, is, that this is for so um, It should it should fit really nicely. It's nice and thin um, no cracks um, so I'm going to just go ahead and finish out the polishing on this one as well. I'm getting a, um, I got two rock trades in progress. I'm boxing up. I'm going to try and get one out tomorrow, uh, which is for another YouTuber. Um, uh, so uh, y'all will look, uh, look forward to an a unboxing video um, in the next week, week and a half. Um, I'm polishing. So like this piece right here was a massive a, a really nice size chunk of uh, Mary Ellen Jasper that I found and I cut in I cut into it because I wanted a small slab and then this part right here is the other other piece of that um, which um, this is probably by far my, my most favorite Jasper that I've ever found found back in uh, Prescott Arizona in uh, 2018 but uh, I've been polishing this as I've been going along with these two. Um, so this is going to be a cool addition in that rock giveaway. Um, but so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get, get, at, get at this. And there will be a slideshow of either videos or pictures 
um, at the end uh, showing the finished product of each of these um, so uh, hope you all enjoy remember to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you're new as well as turning on the bell for notifications uh, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and start polishing Uh, polishing paste that's art, uh, that was already on here. I didn't add anything to it just because I don't need this to be super polished. I may add a little bit of polish to the pad for the uh, Mary Ellen Jasper. But uh, yeah. And that's just felt building up on the uh, Jasper. That's turning out beautiful. Look at that. That's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the slideshow. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and uh, I will see y'all on the next one. Rock on, everyone. Have an awesome week.